I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. talk about Andrew Cuomo you know this is a governor of New York and all these women are coming out against him and I've noticed that really around the world this sort of phenomenon is happening all over I tell you it's just world change and we're experiencing it right now but today let's talk about Andrew Cuomo what's in the cards for him so Andrew Cuomo he's in the news a lot lately man he was the uh, guiding angel for all of us when the uh, federal government wasn't giving us any, informa any information we tuned into New York and we saw Governor Cuomo just telling us what like it is, but I've also heard him on tape where he's a tough lawyer and he doesn't pull any punches when he's trying to make people uh, do things that he wants them to do. So let's see if he's got a way to schmooze this over for his uh, personal life and how he deals with these women. Andrew Cuomo, what is it about you, buddy? And how is how are things going to come out for you in the end? We'll take a look today. We're going to use this great deck today, the Radiant Rider Weight. Uh, tarot. They're very colorful. It's a typical uh, Rider weight iconography, uh, colored a little differently than you may have seen uh, before. I don't know if I used this deck before for you, uh, but we'll see how it works today. We'll do a few, um, a few shuffles. Of course, my signature really bad shuffling is in full display for everyone to enjoy. How do those people... Well, I guess practice makes perfect. Go to Vegas, learn how to shuffle some cards, uh, and um, you too can make a wonderful living playing with uh, playing cards. So here we go. Andrew Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo. Why have you done it, Andy? What's, what is it about you? I don't think he's married right now, is he? And um, someone alluded to that maybe he's not able to hmm, do things as well as he used to when he was a young man in the department of uh, keeping company with beautiful uh, ladies. And uh, could it be just his clumsy, uh, aggressive lawyer way of trying to approach uh, some women? Or is he just another, you know, person who's stuck in the past and used to uh, intimidating uh, women uh, in a more subtle way towards his evil end? Wow, I should write books. So we'll do a couple more um, shuffles like this. I'm going to cut the cards. We're going to deal them out and see what is in the cards, these radiant Rider weight tarot cards for our buddy, Andrew Cuomo. So this is going to be six cards right off the top. And look, they're always jumping out to tell us what's going on. So we'll take one from right. Well, we'll take two. Two for there. And we need four more. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. If only I could count. Imagine that. Shove these together. We're going to need four more of those in a minute. And right now, we're going to see what is the signifier for Andrew Cuomo. And it's the lovers. Wow, that's pretty appropriate. So the signifier for Andrew Cuomo's is looking for love in all the wrong places, I guess. Uh, these, this, uh, you know what? Not enough said about that. Lovers, real. You know, it just talks about partnerships and and uh, putting your heads together to a common goal, but uh, in a more uh, amorous uh, respect, I would say. So the lovers, look at that. The challenge to the lovers for Andrew Cuomo, which I guess we know what it is, but let's say what the cards say. The challenge is the Hierophant. Of course it is. He's a governor. You know, he can't be uh, making these clumsy uh, moves towards people that are in his office uh, when he's part of the government. Clear enough. Um, the overall, uh, the base of this reading was kind of colors, how we're going to look at this first zoom in is in fact wands, the seven of wands. And the seven of wands talked to us about someone who was really uh, embattled, but you know, not in a dangerous way, uh, physically anyway. This guy is, you know, trying to uh, fend off all these um, uh, unwelcome advances. Uh, but we know that he is the master of this wand towards advances that he wants to make happen. So the overall color of this reading then is trying to fend off a lot of issues. The recent past of this reading for Andrew Cuomo is the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles just tells you this, this person is very comfortable with all they've accomplished and they're basking in the glory of all the wonderful things they've done and accumulated and uh, enjoying 
uh, you know, playing with those with those treasures. So this is the uh, Nine of Pentacles is the past uh, for Andrew Cuomo in this regard of all these issues he's facing right now. However, in the sky are the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles talks to us about, you know, joining together with other folks to bring something to public view. Uh, these folks are, are cons uh, consulting. This is the uh, artist. They're all trying to figure out how do we put this together uh, so that folks can see it um, the way we want them to see it. So could that be what he's dealt with the pandemic? Could that be how he's handling uh, the state? Or can it be uh, what's going on with these women? Or is it all of that? It's some of that, if nothing. Now, the uh, outcome for this is the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is like a thief in the night. You know, he's making off with these five swords. He's got a couple left here. But the near future with this looks like he might actually be the Seven of Swords and make off with the majority of these issues. Now, the self for Andrew Cuomo right now, who is he? What's he thinking about in the regard of all these issues that are coming up? And it is the Six of Swords moving on, moving out of troubled water, where you, you gathered up what you got, you put him in a boat, and you pushed off from troubled water, and you've got truth, you got justice, you got all these things that you think are on your side, um, but we'll see in a minute. And boy, that phone needs to quit ringing so I can finish this reading. Now, the um, environment that that's in then is it's a heavy load. It's a lot to carry. The Ten of Wands tells us that there's a lot of issues that this guy has got to pick up and push forward and he's going to do it. This guy's got a strong back and he's got a grip on this stuff and I think he's going to make it although it looks like he's got a ways to go but I think he's going to carry this through to the best of his ability. And then the uh, hopes and fears of this are then the sun. He hopes that he comes out of this bright and sunshiny and clear as a bell. Maybe he will. But the likely outcome is the world and its new starts. The world is always new starts, getting something uh, going again. And it looks like our friend Andrew Cuomo is going to find a way out of the darkness. Let's see. So good old Andrew Cuomo. You know, he comes at us signified as lovers. Um, we have the Hierophant, which certainly he is. and But it looks like uh, the sun is going to shine on his issues and he's going to start again. And uh, that's what this fella does. He just reinvents himself and keeps on going. So Andrew Cuomo, doesn't look bad for him. I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Thank you so much for coming along. I enjoy it. I hope you had a good time. I'll be back later on with some more. So ciao for now.